What's up, Reefers? Today we're doing a Tia takeover. We're setting up a Neptune Trident. All right, so everyone knows that we had our big crash in the aquaculture system here, the FCC system. And that kind of pushed us into how can we make this system better, safer, uh, give it a longer life so we're not trying to replenish any kind of culture corals that we plan on growing out. Got to keep the hobby a little more sustainable and this is our attempt. So now we're going in and doing some redundancies like uh, we're changing out all the heaters and fixing up any possible errors that we see in the system. And that includes something we've put off a little bit too long, and that is setting up our Neptune Trident. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna unbox it together. Let me grab my handy razor blade here. Hopefully I can do it with one hand. Let's see how it goes. Right in. Do not plug it in. They make it very clear that this is the first step. All right. Got some reagent. And our trident there. Look at her. All right, I'm gonna put this down, get her out of the box, and I'll meet you back here. Okay, I just wanna say that I'm sorry. We're filming in a very tight space on our FCC uh, area in the basement. Bear with me. I'm gonna do the best that I can. Here we go. Look who's up? visiting. What's up, Hi Marge. Hello, uh, what are you working? doing? I came to check in. Yeah, working hard, barely working. Um, I came to <laughs> hungry. I came to get some food. What's going on? Okay, so we have our trident here. It's out. It's ready. Did you pull this cabinet out? Yeah, I pulled oh. the cabinet out because I wanted the trident to sit above where the sample was taken oh, so from. We're just going to leave it like that. That works. Maybe. I think it's okay. If, as long as we don't hit any knees, we'll be okay. No one really comes back here but you and me. Exactly. Uh, That's smart. Yeah. I would yeah. have never thought to do that. <laughs> no. Had to figure something out. And then do it this? Yeah, this is going to be our waste bucket for now, temporary. It's a little little, a little shoddy, bit. but <laughs> yeah, we have our two month reagent in there. But it doesn't really matter because it's going to sit what, in here and then that's it. There's your waste. I actually don't want to put it in here because of all of our cables that's and great. lack of cable management. That's what if okay. We put it here, someone's going to kick it. No? Oh, so wait. I'm going to put it behind the cabinet and run the line through. Or what if I make a little custom acrylic thing that sits right here that so we can see it clear to fill up? Let's do it. I don't know. You two, what do you think? Custom clear acrylic, March's favorite? I think so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, so we got our one link cable here. We got our waste and sample line out and we're going to get connecting. All right, so I don't have a tripod. What I'm going to do is show you what I'm going to do. Do it with the camera down and then show you it after I've finished it. So we got the sample line here is the black one. The waistline is this clear guy here. I'm going to connect them really quick. I'll show you after and I'll show you where we run them to you. Okay, we got our sample line and our waistline connected. They run through the back here. And I have them coming into the sump with this nice little orange clip guy here to hold it steady. And they're run at least three inches from the bottom so it doesn't collect any detritus for the sample line. And I have my... So we've got our sample and waste lines here. Uh, sample, waste. And they run through the back here. We got them clipped in with our little orange guy there. Running down, this is the sample line. I don't know if you can see him kind of in the back there. Let me point at him. Where is he? Right there. Wants to focus on my finger, not the line, but that's our sample line. It sits three inches, maybe four above the bottom, so it doesn't collect any like detritus or crud in there. Uh, going over to our waistline and our temporary bucket here. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say it's like a liter, maybe 750 milliliters on the safe end. Uh, we'll get to that later, but we're gonna program it in uh, a little bit under just because it's a little bit of a shoddy setup. It's nothing too permanent. Uh, next, we're going over to the one link cable. 
That's going to get plugged in back here into the little four prong. We are not plugging this into the EV8. It will go there later. First, it's just getting put into the back of the Trident. We got our one link cable hooked up in there. Run through the cabinet. There she is, the line. The other end, not plugged in yet. Do not plug this in. We are not there yet. Uh, so I'm going to toss this in here. Forget about it for a little bit. Close up the cabinet. And let's open the front of the Trident up. We have our reagent lines here. So we got C, we got B, and we got A there. So we got to do C first, then B, then A. Our reagents out. And starting with C, we got to give it a little shake. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Sorry, everybody, gotta shake it. I'm gonna shake them all, and then we'll put them in, and I'll show you with the caps on and ready to go. We've got our reagent in here. We've got C in the back, B here, A here. There is a particular way that you want to put these little lines in. So the number letter C, my bad, uh, goes to the left side. It's a little hard to see in there, but I've kind of snuck it back towards the left. B. You also want to gently squeeze them in on the right side, and A is also on the right side. They're a little funny, but we got them here. You just gently make sure they're going the right direction. Close them up. On to the next. So we got our one link plugged in. We've now plugged it into the EV8. And it's back here. I'm sure you can't see it, but trust me, I have plugged it right in. We're waiting for the trident to initialize. So we're gonna go over here and check for the blue light. Ah, blue. And we're gonna wait a couple minutes. It'll turn orange eventually, but that's what we're waiting for. In the meanwhile, let's sneak over and look at this Scopus. What are you doing over here? Not much. Oh. Very cute. Okay. <laughs> That's enough watching the scope is. I'll be back when the light turns orange. We're done our little initialization there. We have our orange light lit up. I'm going to go over here to my trusty iPad and open up our fusion. Let's see here. All right, hello Fusion. And we're going to our little gear trio here. Oh, this guy, click on that one. Over to the modules. And now we see that our Trident has come up on our modules. So try underscore five Trident. We're good to go with this little check mark here. Click on that one. And we're going to scroll down here and set our container size. So in an ideal world, we would have it connected to a drain. Right now, unfortunately, all we have is a container, but that's OK. We're going to set that. And then we have to set the size. So I had said earlier that it was about a liter. I'm going to run on the safe side and say 500 milliliters, uh, just to make sure we don't have any spillage. We're going to go through and redo the container in a little bit, but this will do for now. So 500 milliliters, set that, go up, and we're going to upload that to the cloud. And wait for that to go through. Always update to the cloud. Do not forget to do that or you're going to be so mad. Okay. I'm going to open this up, unlock our bar here, Scroll over and we'll see our Trident pop up. I'm going to bring that down into our dashboard. Close it up. Go over to the little gear here. Click on that one. Click on Trident. And we're going to prime. So we're going to select all. And then we're going to go through and upload that to the cloud. Okay. 
we'll notice that the trident is now got a blue light on it. You see the orange is gone, or it looks gray on here, but it's blue. And now it is priming the sample line. Uh, and then our reagent lines as well. So next step is to go back to our dashboard. Go back to our little gear here on the trident. Oh, I missed it. Okay. Then go down to schedule. Like to keep it kind of easy. We don't need to do a million tests in a day on our systems. We are completely happy with having four alkalinity tests a day and two staggered calcium and two staggered magnesium tests. You can increase that up to 24 tests per day for alkalinity and uh, that means half the amount for calcium and magnesium. You're gonna go through more reagent that way. So for the two month reagent, you wanna press four unless you specifically need more. Now we're setting the schedule, we pressed okay. It's done and we're set up, ready to go. Here we go, we're gonna wait. We obviously don't have any readings yet on the Trident because we just set it up. You can see it's still priming. Um, we will perform a calibration, so that's this little white bottle here. We're going to need to wait uh, two to three days roughly to be able to do that just to make sure everything's operating normally on the Trident. We'll go through and do that then, make sure everything's zeroed in and perfect. Um, there is something that we forgot to go through earlier, so you can go to your taskbar, and if you scroll down, you'll see we have our Trident initial setup. So this will run you through exactly everything that we just covered with some video information on it as well. It's very easy and set up for success here. Uh, there's no tricks involved in setting it up. It's very straightforward. The guys at Neptune did an amazing job at setting everyone up for success. Uh, you also have a couple other buttons down here that you can go through. One really cool one is the Trident Control Dosing. Not everybody likes to run this. We personally at the store don't like to give the Trident Control over our dose units. Um, but you do set limits for the range that the Trident has influence over your dose on. Um, so we're going to leave that one up to you. We like to look at the Trident, what the readings say, and then adjust our dose uh, based on what we understand the dose needs to be increased or de by, decreased by. Yeah, but fairly straightforward. I know you guys, once you get a Trident, you'll absolutely love it. They're very easy to use, very reliable. And yeah, yeah, there's our Trident. So I hope you guys had a fun time today with the TIA Takeover. Happy reefing, and hopefully I'll be able to join you guys sometime soon. Bye, guys.